Today I'm going to be unboxing the Surface Pro 7. And that's actually not it. This is a Surface Pro 6 box. Um, I wanted to show you this box though because that's the Surface Pro 6 for business. It says there on the sticker that it's for commercial and education customers. This here is the Surface Pro 7 for business. What does the for business bit of it mean? Well, I'll explain that in the video, but this is actually the box that the Surface Pro 7 now comes in if you're a business customer. If you buy one of these at the store, don't worry, you still get the pretty box with the packaging and you know, it's a really nice looking box and it's got all the plastic and all that sort of stuff in it. But if you can imagine being in corporate IT and maybe deploying 300 or 1000 Surface Pros, that box would be a real pain because you have to individually cut the plastic off and unwrap and unbox every single one of them. So here on the Surface Pro 7, I've just got this simple brown box. And I'm going to open that up and you'll see that there is my Surface Pro 7 inside. Instead of being wrapped in plastic, it's wrapped in a probably some sort of recycled paper type material. All right, there's our Surface Pro 7. Looks very pretty in the box. Underneath that packaging is a little poster of the product that we just bought. Our typical instructions that nobody will read and our power cord set up there in very similar box style to what we see in the retail packaging, but as you can see, it's, in, it's all in brown cardboard, so it's probably recycled cardboard. Our power cord, whoop. Got our Australian power connector, our figure eight cable there and our Surface Pro power pack with the Surface connector on it and that USB port on the side as well. Now that we've got the Surface Pro 7 out of the box, we're gonna hopefully find out that it has much better performance than the previous models did, thanks to that 10th generation Intel Core processor. Uh, that's the 10 nanometer processor in this particular model. A much smaller sized processor should have better battery life, put out less heat, and uh, generally be better for performance. It's also got the new studio microphones, which we're gonna try out and hopefully they'll give us better performance in products like Microsoft Teams. When we're doing a video conference, we should have much clearer audio on our video conferences. And of course, we've got that USB-C port on the side that will give us access not only to peripherals like our monitors and docking stations, but also to charge options like a car charger or maybe a battery pack charger that we could plug in directly into the USB-C port there. So we'll give all that a try and see how we go. But just while we've been talking about it, this is Surface Pro for business, as I mentioned. What's the difference? Well, apart from the box and the packaging, um, Surface Pro for business comes with Windows 10 Pro installed. Uh, the retail editions often don't come with Windows 10 Pro. Um, in addition to that, in this particular generation, Microsoft have started to make more changes for the business versus the retail lines. This model has an inbuilt TPM chip. That's like the encryption chip that's built into the device. The retail models actually don't. They have a software version of that. They don't have that physical hardware there. So that might affect the performance of um, applications like the face recognition or some sort of cryptography that we might be doing. So um, that makes a little bit of a difference in the models. But the other thing that's different about Surface Pro for business is the fact that these have much better warranty options. With Surface Pro for Business, we can get things like advanced exchange warranties where if the device is faulty or maybe it's broken, we can actually get a new one sent out to us before we even send the old one back. And those warranty options are exclusively available for Surface for Business. Now, I haven't yet got the accessories. I haven't got the keyboard and the pen, but they are identical, just a different color compared to the previous models. Um, so we'll be getting those and trying those out as well. And we're also looking forward to getting the Surface Pro X. Now that has been released worldwide. It hasn't yet hit the market here in Australia. So we'll get that very soon and also try out the Surface Pro X and uh, bring a bit of a review on that device to you soon. I should just add that the instant on feature is something that people have been talking about with the Surface Pro 7. We're looking forward to trying it out. That's where rather than going to hibernate or uh, waking slowly out of sleep. We're seeing these new generation devices actually wake up very quickly, more what you'd expect from a mobile phone or an iPad, something like that. So I'll be really keen to try that out. So I know that this wasn't the normal, exciting unboxing video with all that 
plastic ASMR stuff going on. But hopefully that's been helpful. And if you found that you like this video, remember to give us that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to find out more about the Surface Pro line. Unboxed. Boom.